Oh no. MAGA is already turning on JD Vance. This person that's at in their bio it says COVID jab count and they said lockdown Vance. They posted images of JD Vance during the lockdown. He said, My basic view is this the virus is very deadly compared to the flu. It is not spread widely in our population. Informal social distancing has done a lot to slow the spread and more formal measures have helped too. Oh no, he's taking the liberal point of view. The problem with my view is that it suggests the toggle between return to normal and viral spread is very sensitive. If the average person reduces the number of people they come in contact with by 30%, you get lower spread. How come, like, people are sound decently smart before they enter the MAGA universe? It's like, in order to put on a MAGA cap, you have to lobotomize yourself first. If they reduce that number by 50 to 75%, even better, R0 doesn't exist in a vacuum, but social distancing is inherently economically destructive, even informally, even before any lockdowns. Okay, so there was a little bit of MAGA peeking out, but it's like he, he absolutely had some sort of cohesive view on the... Uh, Virus. Some have pointed to Sweden's laissez-faire approach to the virus as a model to emulate. Set to the side whether that's accurate, it's incomplete at best. Swedish economic forecasts are grim. This man is looking at economic forecasts, he's looking at different models, he's looking at Sweden's model and saying, okay, they took a very chill laissez-faire approach, but we shouldn't do that, it's incomplete at best. And now he's just like, dirt or dur, election was stolen, blah blah blah. Here's the message J.D. Vance sent to his friends suggesting Donald Trump might be America's Hitler. But I'm not surprised by Trump's rise, and I think the entire party has only itself to blame. We are, whether we like it or not, the party of lower income, lower education white people, and I've been saying this for a long time, that we need to offer those people something, and hell, maybe even expand our appeal to working class black people in the process, or a demagogue would. We are now at that point. Trump is the fruit of the party's collective neglect. I go back and forth between thinking Trump is a cynical asshole like Nixon who wouldn't be that bad and might even prove useful, or, how, or that he's a America's Hitler. How is that for discouraging? Wow. The wild part is, this is not even a terrible breakdown. This is honestly a pretty good breakdown of Donald Trump's rise, which further proves the point that I was just making, that J.D. Vance at one point was a rational person. And you know, if I lost one race, they'd say Trump was humiliated. That's what they're waiting for. They're waiting for one race. You know, we've endorsed Dr. Oz. We've endorsed JP, right? J.D. Mandel, and he's doing great. And you know, if I lost one race, they'd say Trump. J.P. Mandel. Breaking news. Donald Trump has received enough convention delegate votes to become the official Republican presidential nominee. It's official. Nine they have delegates. nominated a convicted Half felon day, who tried to overturn Tiro, the results of an election. God, I am how is this guy taken seriously? Army veteran. Ooh. The Lincoln Project was locked and loaded. The Lincoln Project was ready. The Lincoln Project salutes our fellow Never Trump activist, J.D. Vance. Yep. He led the way in opposing Trump in 2016, even calling Trump our Hitler. J.D. Vance speculated that Trump might be America's Hitler. Trump is the fruit of the party's collective neglect. I go back and forth between thinking Trump is a cynical a-hole like Nixon or that he's America's Hitler. Are you a racist? J.D. joined John Kasich as the only major Republicans in Ohio to vote against Donald Trump in 2016. And he boldly told the truth about Trump voters. We are, whether we like it or not, the party of lower income, lower education white people. Trump is cultural heroin. Fellow Christians, everyone is watching us when we apologize for this man. J.D. Vance is a multimillionaire big tech banker with a degree from Yale, our kind of candidate. He gets it. J.D. Vance for Senate, the Lincoln Project candidate. How does somebody go from being like semi-rational, not that he was semi-rational, but he hated Donald Trump. He understood the Republican Party and how Trump's rise was was terrifying. How does somebody slide that far down? In just the Lincoln Project. And we've seen that we've seen that with so many Republicans. I don't understand it. It's like. Well, I do understand it. Donald Trump has such a chokehold on the Republican voters that people like Lindsey Graham, who at one point hated Donald Trump, are now saying that uh, are now saying that uh, Trump is like the best because yeah, I mean, if he doesn't, his political career is up for grabs. Vance's past comments on Donald Trump might be America's Hitler, might be a cynical asshole, cultural heroine, noxious and reprehensible. 
Don't forget, the significance of this is not that Trump has a new VP pick. It's why he has a new VP pick. He has a new VP pick because his supporters wanted to hang his former vice presidential pick for not subverting the will of the American people, for certifying the results of President Biden's election. Now, Donald Trump needs a new vice president. You guys have heard the reports that Donald Trump didn't even call to see if Mike Pence was okay. They didn't even, they haven't even talked since. Does this automatically give Trump Ohio? Um, I think Ohio was leaning Trump anyways. J.P. Mandel, in a 2016 interview with Charlie Rose while promoting his book, Hillbilly Elegy, Vance called himself a never-Trump guy and said of the soon-to-be president, I never liked him. He told NPR that year, quote, I can't stand, or sorry, I can't stomach Trump. He wrote an op-ed for the New York Times titled, Mr. Trump is unfit for our nation's highest office. And 61 of our delegates for the 45th and the 47th president, Donald J. Trump. Chill out, homie. Chill out. Um, Vance said he didn't vote for Trump in 2016, and his former roommate shared images of a text message Vance sent him in a year, or that year, in which he called Trump, quote, cynical, and said he could be America's Hitler. But by the time Vance launched his campaign for Senate in 2021, his views were closely aligned with Trump's. He met with the former president and quickly won his endorsement, gaining a crucial boost in the Republican primary. Vance has said he, quote, was wrong about Trump. In an interview this month on Fox News, he, was, he said he was going to, or he was asked to explain his past criticism. I didn't think he was going to be a good president. He was a great president. China, another reason Ohio manufacturers go to China is because the Chinese undercut American wages. The only the only way to really combat that is tariffs, which I've supported. And now Tim Ryan supports, and I'm glad that you do, Tim. But of course, in 2018, 2019, and 2020... I could see the Ben Shapiro comparison. I also agree that he's, he's decently sharp, yeah. You oppose the tariffs. Yeah, I don't think the VP pick has a major effect. It started to bring some of that manufacturing and industrial... Honestly, base. no matter who Donald Trump has chose as VP, you could almost just have shot them out of a factory. Because, like, they're all just going to say the exact same thing. If Donald Trump gets indicted or charged, you're going to say it's rigged. If Donald Trump, if this happens, if this happens, it's going to be rigged. No. People in chatter keep saying, stop saying Vance is moderate. I meant Vance is appealing to moderates. He's supposed to be the moderate equalizer to Donald Trump in the way that Mike Pence was. It's back to Ohio. Ohio. China is a And I'm not saying Mike Pence was moderate either. I'm saying Mike Pence was meant as an equalizer to Donald Trump. Big, big issue, but China's problems are exacerbated by our own leadership's failures. Those failures go back 20 years to when Tim Ryan started in Congress. They certainly go back to the last couple of years when Joe Biden took over. Thank you, Mr. Vance. Congressman Ryan. Uh